Hello, my beautiful darling loves. Welcome to your love reading for Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. I hope everybody is safe, happy, healthy, and doing well. For those of you new to the channel, my name is Gina. Um, I do have a Leo-only channel. The link for that is below. I also have a Virgo and Cancer-only channel. Um, readings can be vice versa, so flip it, twist it, reverse it to whatever way fits you and your situation. Please be sure to like, share, comment, and subscribe. Click that notification bell so you know when my readings post. Um, I have been trying to get everyone into an energy of uh, practicing gratitude and affirmation. So if you would like to put uh, in the comment section something that you're grateful for and a positive affirmation with a green heart, it would be appreciated. Um, if you would like to check out my tarot and oracle decks, I do have Spirit Shield Tarot and Oracle. Buy one, get one free. And then I have uh, Mystery Crystal Boxes for 20% off. I do take personal readings, but right now they're closed just for a couple days until I catch up, okay? Uh, okay, Leo, let's get popping. What do we have here for my little lion cubs, please? What do we have here for my Leos, please, Spirit? Okay, so we have Rebound Mate, we've got King and Queen, and we've got Long Distance. So Leo, I feel like your person is sitting in an energy where they are moving on with somebody else but they know that that is not their forever person. It's like you and this person maybe broke up and your person just went to go jump into another connection, maybe to forget you. Guys, I'm sorry, my dog is drinking water. She always has to drink a whole bowl of water as soon as I get onto a reading. Okay, so anyways, um, but I feel like your person moved on to someone new very quickly, okay? I do feel that your person is being a little extra about this, calling this person their king, their queen. <clears throat> oh, I've met the love of my life. Um, this is someone that is making it clear that they want you out of the picture and that this new person is on a pedestal. Okay, that is the energy that they're trying to omit to you. This is someone that's trying to come off that they are uh, over over the moon in love with this new person. We have hostile lover and classy. What's interesting is Leo on the outside, on the outside, this person is making the connection look like they're being spoiled and how amazing my person is. But behind the scenes, this connection is poison. Behind the scenes, this is extremely toxic. The person that your person is dealing with may have like mental issues or anger issues. They run hot. They run cold. This person could even be very aggressive where they break things around the house. Um, this is someone that's very like poisonous. But it's interesting because on the outside, like if you look at this person's social media, your person is sitting there bragging about how happy they are and how they've met the love of their life. We have no one stays. We've got afraid of love. And we've got spicing it up. Okay. So I do feel, Leo, that the person, the rebound energy that your person is going through suffers from very severe abandonment issues and mental issues. This person could have anger issues or bipolar issues. This is someone that is afraid of love. Okay. So they sabotage the connection. Okay. Um, I do feel that it m does make the sex life spicy so sex could be good between these two. I know you don't want to hear that, but outside of the bedroom, outside of the bedroom, this con this connection is just straight toxic, regardless of what you see 
regardless of what you see on the outside. Now, another thing I also want to mention, it may not be that their sex life is good. It may be that this person has some very weird kinks in the bedroom because of their mental issues. This person could be into like whips or really, you know, intense BDSM. I don't know. I, I don't see your person being happy. I know at face value, if you were to go online and look at this, you would be like, oh, well, they've moved on really quickly. It's like this person wants to hurt you to show you that they've moved on very quickly. Mix signals here. What you're seeing is not the truth. What you're seeing is not the truth. This person is trying to portray this as a healthy love, but it's not true. What is Leo feeling? We've got the gentleman. Now, Leo, I think that you came off as a completely different person to this individual. Yeah, they're dealing with toxic right now and they are appreciating what they had because Leo, I feel like this is an energy of somebody that was very respectful, courteous, um, has morals, maybe like if we're talking about uh, like a man here, this is someone that would open doors, pull out chairs, you know? So, so what's happening here is this person traded in like someone respectable with someone that is extremely toxic. This person that they ran to as a rebound is someone that maybe has a like a toxic family, a toxic childhood. We have deeply dead here. I feel that for Leo, there, there's no coming back from this. You seeing this person move on this quickly and be so public about them moving on with someone else, you can never see this person another way again, okay? Um, you may feel like these two are meant for each other. Yeah, people are telling you about this. People are coming in to give you the tea that there's gossip here about what your this person is going through. Okay. But with hard to reach here, Leo, you're going to tell these people, listen, I don't have the time. I don't have the time to talk about this. I don't want to hear about this. I'm busy. I got my own crap that I'm doing here. You don't want to hear about none of this. It's almost like, you know, people are literally talking about this new connection that your person is in. And you just don't want to hear it. I feel like the way you're looking at this is, well, they should have chosen wisely. So there could be rumors going around about how bad this connection is. Meanwhile, again, on social media, it looks like everything is perfect. Okay. On the outside, you know, everything is perfect here. But I feel like there's rumors going around people trying to contact you to tell you that, you know, it's extremely toxic, that maybe someone here laid hands on another person or just really bad. And Leo, you're sending in an energy of, well, they should have made better decisions. I don't know what to tell you. Okay. We've got not good in bed and we've got red flags. Leo, I feel that it is possible that your person was cheating with this individual before you guys broke up because the sex got really bad between you guys. And this was like a sign. There was something, you know, there's a saying that like when your person cheats, they act differently when you guys have sex and you maybe noticed it. You possibly noticed that this person, uh, started trying different things in the bedroom. Um, I, there was something regarding sex that made you realize that this person was cheating on you. So there's a very real possibility, possibility blah, <laughs> that this individual was actually with this rebound energy before you guys broke up. I feel like Leo, you really love this person. You thought that this connection was going to be a forever type of connection. I do see you moving on, Leo. I do see you dating. I do see you uh, finding somebody new. I feel like you're cutting this person off. There is no going back. You're leaving this person out in the cold. This person is going to try to reach out to you, Leo, and you're going to block them. You are going to block them. They're going to come to you and tell you, you know, you were genuine, you were stable, you were dependable, you treated me good. And Leo, you are protecting yourself from this. 
Okay. Um, this person may be in financial debt, this rebound energy that they're seeing may be spending money that they don't have. So your person is in an abusive, your ex person is in an abusive connection and they're going broke. They're pretending to be happy. They're pretending to be happy while they're sitting here stalking you. Okay. While they're sitting here stalking you, hoping that there's a chance to get you back. This is someone that could be sending friends and family members your way to let you know that they are being mistreated, hoping that you will step in because Leos are very overprotective, extremely overprotective of the people that they love. And when you were with this person, if anyone ever tried hurting them, I'm sure you would have killed them. You know what I'm saying? But you don't care anymore. You know, you're just like, well, you should have made better decisions. They're definitely realizing, you know, the difference between you and this person that they're dealing with. Okay. Well, karma is definitely, you know, a bitch. I don't know what else to say. All right, guys. I love you so much and I'll see you soon.